What's going on, everybody? This your boy Isaiah coming to you again from Buckles Locker. Subscribe, like, comment, share on all my videos. Make sure you hit the notification bell icon to notify you all new videos that's posted on this channel. Also, feel free to donate to the channel. All donation links are in the description box. I do have a cash app. I will be putting that in the description box as well. Um, also, like the Buckles Locker Facebook group as well. How's everybody doing out there? As you can see, let's get right to it. Shouts out to all my subscribers out there. Continue to support the channel as we near the 2019-2020 football season. V. Via. Apparently has a knee injury. This is not good, folks. Uh, I, I caught wind of it early today, and I wanted to make sure uh, I have some time to make a good video on it. And I, I watched the replay. I watched the clip of his injury. It looked like he maybe tore an ACL um, or, or or MCL or PCL. That knee buckled pretty. It didn't look good. There might be a strain, a slight tear, or something, or ACL. It's gonna be it's gonna be an injury that's gonna keep him out again. Now it might now they saying that it could be some swelling, but this is a big blow for the second year defensive tackle that we had high hopes on. First round draft pick, the number 12th pick in the 2018 draft. I'm not gonna go into that draft again because I know who we passed up in that draft, first and second round. But this is not good for a 3-4 defense. Um, this is going to stretch our defensive line out because Sue and Bo Allen and William Golson, Anthony Nelson, you know, Sue takes up a lot of space. He's talented, but he has injury problems now. That's going to be the knock on him. His injury problems. I mean, he's playing at 347 pounds. He's six foot three, six foot four. 347 pounds, very nimble, but this is not good for our first round pick from last year, man. Like, this brings even more heat on Jason Light. Um, high expectations for, for Villa, and this happens. He's gonna have an MRI Friday. So fingers are crossed. I hope, I hope it's not a serious injury. I hope it's just like some swelling, some bruise, or something like that. So he will not be playing in first on in the first game against the Steelers, and probably won't play in the second game either. But if it's just like a, a bruise or something like that, or a little slight strain, then he'll be okay. But the way that knee looked and it, how it buckled, uh, he was going against Alex Kappa, our um, third round pick a couple years ago. Uh, he got tangled up last year. Uh, he got he got tangled up with him, I and mean, he was pushing him back, but the knee gave out up on him. And this is the this is what happened. This is what can happen to big men a lot in the trenches. Guys that size, that's very quick with their feet, they have a lot of leg injuries because there's a lot of weight, you know, on those on those knees, and he's moving so quick, and he's you know he's a quick guy for his size. Maybe if he was down to like 320, these injuries w wouldn't be happening. I mean, we, it's, that's 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 high in sight, but 347 pounds moving like that, the weight can shift, and that how that knee buckled, the weight shifted. And uh, I hope he's not out for extended amount of time because last year he missed the whole preseason, and he missed like the first four weeks of first, well, basically first four weeks of the NFL season. He didn't come back till week eight, and it took him until like week eleven to finally get his footing. You know what I'm saying? So this is a major setback for him. He's been having a great camp. They've been raving about him. You know, he's graded out already as a good starter. So he's going to be productive if he can stay healthy. But this is the second injury. He's had injuries back in Washington for the Huskies. If you watch any of the Pac-12 games, this is his second injury. It's another leg injury. Remember, folks, he's 347 pounds, six foot three, and some some change. 
Last year it was his calf injury, and they thought it wasn't that serious. He missed eight weeks. Here we go again. He has a knee injury. You know, they saying they hope it's not serious, but when they say that, most likely he's going to miss the whole preseason again. Just to be precautionary. So, what a blow for the Bucks, man. We was looking good on defense. We still look good on defense. Um, I'm just a little nervous about this injury because I didn't like the way it looked. I mean, he walked off fine with a slight limp. And usually, like, if anybody played actual real football, because a lot of y'all haven't played football, uh, real football, or even flag football or semi-pro, when you have your, when your knee buckles like that, it's, it's a pain in the butt. It's a nagging injury. And if he don't get healthy, like completely healthy, it's going to nag him the whole season. So um, I've had a knee injury before, a bruise, a sprain. I've had that before, and it's not good. You know, leg injuries are not good when it comes to a, a sport like, you know, football. When you're constantly moving your legs, you constantly got to have leverage. And having leverage for a a uh, three four nose tackle he needs his leg support his knees need to be able to balance off the weight on each side of his legs each side each knee each knee and if it's a slight bruise or you know a slight strain or just maybe just kind of like nicked it a little bit we dodged a huge bullet and what's going to happen is we already know they're going to be very cautious on putting him back in the preseason so i got my fingers crossed I'm hoping that it's a bruise, um, nothing serious, um, Just or maybe he just kind of like hyperextended it, which will be even better. Um, if it's anything outside of a hyperextension, man, he's going to miss a lot of time because big men don't heal fast like that. So, oh, man. And I said it, we've, we've avoided the injury bug, and bang. And strikes just like that. And I'm gonna make a separate video on Levante and Mike Edwards because they I've heard they had they got injuries as well. And Mike Ledecky, you know, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make videos on them, separate videos, but God man, this video injury, man, this I'm trying to be optimistic about it and be positive about it, but that knee did not look good, even though he walked off. Something happened. Let's let's just expect some type. Let's just let's just expect expect some type of injury, whether it's a hyperextended knee, a strained knee, a slightly torn ACL, a slight torn MCL, PCL, one of the ligaments. Just let's just expect that because just the way it looked. So, with that being said, man, um, speedy recovery. I'm wishing a speedy recovery to Via. Uh, hope we hope get well soon, man. We need you out there. We got high expectations for this season. You know, Bruce Arian, you know, he was a little like, he he, he said he was walking fine. He saw him early, later on that day. He said he was fine. He looked fine. He's walking. So we'll see, man. The report will come out probably tomorrow, Friday. The MRI will be done Friday. So we're going to see, man. So anyway, tell me what you guys think in the um, comment section about this injury.